<laughs> All right, so if you're looking for something fun to do yes. this weekend that will immerse you into some culture, mm -hmm. you may not be familiar with this, but we actually have an event just for you. Yeah, and we're going to head over to our other set here. We're talking to Vanessa Davis. She's the executive director of African Village International. And you guys are having an event, and it's called the Culture Street Festival. So let's talk a little bit about that. How did it get started? Well, about two years ago, um, we started a monthly marketplace uh, called African Village Bazaar. <laughs> yeah. And um, we've been going strong at the Ritz for about two years, and this year mm -hmm. we kind of switched up a little bit. Um, part of our history is working with uh, the World of Nations celebration downtown, so we have a lot of a deep connection to the Caribbean culture mm -hmm. and the African culture here in the city. So we just thought, let's mesh everything together and have a nice street party, yeah, like yeah. kids, have fun. I love it. Right? <laughs> That's exactly what yes. I do every morning. Yeah. That's actually what I did just this morning. When and you have the cutest little girls. They're here Thank to model you. some clothes. These yes. are so adorable. Thank you. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the mission. So the mission of African Village International is to promote cultural <laughs> diversity, <laughs> to preserve good health, mm -hmm. to create economic development, and to maintain a positive environment and educate the people on the uh, contribution of African yeah. descendants uh, globally. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yes, yeah. and so what else do you do throughout the year? I know this kind of all comes to a peak in the summertime, but what else do you have going on? So definitely we have Culture Street goes on throughout the year's quarterly yeah. event. Um, sometimes we're up <laughs> in American Beach uh, in Fernandina doing a, a marketplace for okay. the American Beach mm -hmm. Museum on the second Saturdays. Also, we do Kwanzaa, if you've ever attended Kwanzaa. Uh, we're always at World of Nations, so if you've ever attended World of Nations, yeah. um, we'll be there again. Okay. Uh, and we also do uh, just service projects around town. Yeah. We did one for Juneteenth. Yeah. Now at Culture Street, you're going to have a lot of vendors also. So not only are you, you know, being educational, but you're also giving some local businesses some shout outs. Definitely, definitely. We have some local DJs, DJ Nate and DJ Turntable. We yeah. have a lot of uh, local food vendors come out, some local small businesses, um, some people who import African items, some people who make their own items. We have Avon ladies. Nice. We have a little bit of everybody. We don't discriminate. Anybody can come and attend and, mm -hmm. and uh, be a vendor with us. Love it. Okay, so how can people get involved? Definitely look up our website, AfricanVillageintl.org. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. These two kiddos were on <laughs> Facebook and Instagram all morning. Um, you can find out what we're doing and where we are. And if you're interested in getting a, uh, being a part of the community, yeah. you can find me anywhere. Anytime you see a all lady the with her hair you're wrapped up. You're super mom. That's what you are. That's me. <laughs> so here's the information right here. So where it's going to be at the Ritz Theater and Museum on Sunday, June 30th from 12 noon to 8 p.m. and it's free to attend which is fun. Definitely yeah. yeah we'll have a free intro to drumming class at 12 so if you've ever wanted to learn how to play the djembe yeah come we on got a little practice one time on the show. Yeah, yeah. I saw you guys were yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was like what we saw. <laughs> you guys make sure to head over to our website and share this segment with your friends just a little later today.